Hello. This video is created to briefly explain Secretariat, the DWR construction logging and tracking application that the uh, Department of Water Resources uses here in Sacramento and throughout the state. So um, I'm going to go ahead and log in. And what this program does is what it says. It um, is used for logging and tracking uh, submittals for construction related uh, projects. So this is the main menu. And uh, what used to happen years back is the contractor would snail mail these actual pieces of paper in to the department so that the reviewers and engineers here could make sure that the construction projects were built with appropriate materials. They reviewed the paperwork, they sent it back. It was all very slow and tedious and expensive. And now we have a web app called Secretariat uh, named after the horse So um, for secretarial related purposes. So now contractors can upload documents and yeah, uh, everything is really quick and easy and um, everyone likes it hopefully. So I'm going to just do a quick video tutorial of what this pro program does. Um, here's the main menu. The submittal log right here is uh, one of the more popular pages. It kind of gives you a brief overview. These are the different jobs. The test job I'm using is this one here. And right now there's three submittals because there's three items in the list, this list. Um, and I'm just using generic terms like test submittal. <laughs> but uh, we can click on the little green icon and sort of get um, an overview of exactly what happened each step of the way, when it was uploaded, when it was logged, uh, when action was taken. We have an action change uh, routine as well. Uh, the action was R. Let's see. So we have the name of the submittal, the date it came in, um, a response letter. If we click here on the little PDF icon, it actually brings up the submittal from uh, the cloud. We have we're using an own cloud instance for our cloud storage. Um, we're running this on a, a Linux Red Hat six. Not that that matters, but anyway. Um, so if I click on this, it should ask me for my credentials the first time type that in and you're not seeing it here but it's downloading to my desktop and then uh, this is just a blank PDF which is an opening okay here it is so let me match the screen size of the video and then this is a return submittal package with the reviewer response this is all created in a class and this is just dummy pages so yeah um, what else? So on the submittal log, let me go to another submittal log that has a lot more submittals, such as about 1403. So this log has a couple hundred submittals, we'll say. Um, I've got filters up here, so you could just type in 101, and that brings up all the submittals with the suffix of 101. Or I could pick revision A, and that brings up all of the submittals with revision A. There's about 30 or 40 of them. Uh, all the filters are anded together. Um, dates are nice as well, so we could say everything that came in today's May 2nd in the past week. That's revision A. Everything that came in the last week. And so on. So in addition to the filters, there's sorting. So we can um, ascending and or descending sort on any field. And also one more thing to point out is we have a print to PDF link. So if you want this not in the browser view, but you want actually wanted to print it out into a PDF, that's generated here. It takes a while, but it does work. And also the PDF, okay, it downloaded to my desktop, so let me open that up. Um, the PDF is um, preserves the same filtering and sorting. Yeah. Um, as the browser had it. So it just sends over the same variables and we're good. So let me go back to the main menu. How the submittals arrive in the first place is through a separate application that um, is used specifically by the contractor to upload submittals. So I'll upload a 403. Um, so bear with me. We call this one forklift and I'm going to log in as that spec 01 user. And then I browsed my. So this is just a bunch of test files I have ready. 403. Um, there. 
So that uploads, and then um, it gives me a little green confirmation of what's uploaded. If it hasn't uploaded, I get a confirmation about what hasn't uploaded and why. In fact, let me just do that. I'm just going to grab all those files, see what happens. Actually, not those ones. Let me go down here. Okay. <laughs> so I'm uploading a bunch of files. I'm going to have to delete all these. And it tells me which ones successfully uploaded and which ones didn't upload and also why. Uh, this isn't Secretariat. This is called Forklift, but it's directly related, so I thought I'd throw this in the presentation. Uh, files are inval invalid file names. Files already uploaded. Files with previous revision not in the outgoing folder. So anyway, the contractors get information about how to upload, so they better understand what these error terms mean. And so do I, but I don't want to go into too much of that right now. All right, so back to Secretariat. Let me refresh the submittal log. And I'm not seeing anything because the submittal actually has to be loaded first. Um, I mean logged. So some of the staff here at Department of Water Resources Construction Branch get notification emails whenever a new submittal is uploaded through Forklift. And what they do is they download that from the cloud, then they come over here to um, Submittal Data and they input a submittal. And they say, okay, that was spec number one. And they fill out all this metadata about the submittal, hit submit, and then they'll see it in the log. So you just got to trust me on that. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> it works, just trust me. Uh, they can edit submittals the same way, so I'll go down to spec one and then boom similar form but it's pre-populated and then when we hit submit at the bottom it doesn't insert it just updates an existing record same is true with the uh, specification data contractor data and employee data there's input and edit uh, gosh there's so much to talk about um, for each submittal one and only one person is in charge of returning it so um, <coughs> We go to 1403. If we go to action delegation, we can, and say the submittal was originally assigned to the wrong person. So 162A was assigned to Mike, but maybe it was supposed to be assigned to Joan. So we can do the click there, and then click all the, go down to the bottom, and say, save the changes, send notification emails. So everyone involved, the job manager, the field engineer, Mike and Joan all get um, notified of this change. And now Joan would ha be the one responding and have to assign an action. Submittal approval. Um, the distribution list and oops. Um, the distribution list is also important. We go to 1403 because this uh, identifies who, what people in this particular job are notified with an email every time a new submittal comes in. Because submittals are identified by their category. So, for instance, Rich is all checks. Andy's all checks, so they'll get notified by every incoming submittal. But Dwayne over here is only a check in environmental, so he'll only get notified when environmental related submittals come in. So yeah, job manager and field engineer are always in the first two columns because they are fixed, they have to receive everything. This is all custom coding. This is what my supervisor told me he wanted it to do, so that's what he got. <laughs> It's kind of choppy. It's not a very responsive design. There's no search engine optimization. It's not one of those sites. Uh, I didn't use any framework for Secretariat. I just kind of did what I had to do to make it work. So it's not the prettiest thing, but it, it works a lot better than what we had. And this is going kind of long, so I'll cut it short there. Um, if you guys have any uh, feedback, if you guys have any um, ideas of how it could be better or just general advice, I'm open to it. You know, this is a web development project, and that's kind of what I'm doing now, but I'm open to all different kind of, kinds of uh, directions I could go with uh, my computer science degree. All right, thanks for watching.